Hi there guys, so in this video we're gonna be taking a look at how to modify a plugin in WordPress uh, in the official ways. Um, so what I mean by official ways is uh, over the past years I have seen users uh, editing the source files of a plugin which is really not the recommended way by any plugin developer uh, who knows what uh, he's doing. And uh, so uh, the downsides of modifying directly a plugin source is that it's not even permanent because it gets flushed away right after an update and uh, might break your site as well. So uh, let's look at the ways uh, which is um, recommended and as well as safe to do so. So in this one, uh, we'll be modifying the WooCommerce plugin for a few things in front end. So we have in the plugins section here WooCommerce installed, uh, which we'll be modifying. And then we have WP code, uh, which is a way to add code snippets to your WordPress site. So we'll use that. So there are, there's this other way, which is to create a plugin and then uh, output your, like uh, apply your code via that. But that's a completely different topic and we could discuss that in another video or someday. So let's look into this way and then when you go through it each step by step. So let's go to the single product page, which we'll be modifying in this one. And then, um, so uh, in this product page, we will be modifying this product tabs uh, section. We'll basically remove this and then uh, try to uh, echo something or uh, do something above and below it uh, with the code. So the first thing uh, is to remove it. So uh, if you want to modify any WordPress plugin, you should definitely look into the source first. And then what I mean by source is go into the uh, plugins directory and then the plugin folder uh, to be precise. And in our case, which is WooCommerce, uh, I know for sure that uh, the template code is in templates and then each uh, template uh, code is in uh, a separate folder or a separate template. So for our case, which we'll be looking at is single content, single product.php. And then uh, here are the hooks uh, for which we can use and then modify the source here. So the basic thing in WordPress is that you know what are actions and filters uh, and uh, other ways to modify a plugin or anything in WordPress in general. So an action is a way to modify a source code, say a part of code, and then uh, a filter is a way to modify a DB output, a, da a database output, such as a list or something that has uh, a database uh, that is being fetched from database and can be um, a data. So we'll not uh, look into filters right now, but we'll go through actions and uh, uh, the action of Neat is here, WooCommerce after single product summary, because I know so that this is responsible for displaying the product tabs uh, section here, and it is also mentioned here. So in a good plugin, you'll always find a good uh, documentation or code uh, description, which you can use to uh, modify it. So in this WooCommerce, you can see you properly labeled here that it is also hooked via this, these three uh, functions. WooCommerce output product data tabs by the priority level of 10 and then WooCommerce upsell display 15 like so. So uh, these priority levels are also an important factor in uh, uh, the indexing of these functions or the way they are being called. So the lower uh, means that is being called at uh, the higher level of priority and the the higher uh, the numbers are here, that means it will be gone after the uh, initial numbers. So anyways, uh, we will be using this, let's copy this hook, let's do actual hook name, and then we will create a snippet code. Let's go into our code snippets. And then you can add new. We will they add your custom code, just select this and then select code type to PHP snippet. So uh, we'll be using this function called remove action. 
This is a way to remove an action or uh, a specific book. So we have this book and then the function we want to remove is uh, this output product data tabs because I know already that this is what responsible for displaying the product data tabs and the priority level of 10. So this is important here uh, to note that this priority level is also meant required here that if you want then it won't uh, remove that particular uh, function because that's what it's tied to. So if we now activate this part of the mm, snippet and save snippet um, it should now remove this section. Now if you were to refresh it, you could see that this part of the code is will be like not available. Yeah. So it's removed. Now if you were to go back to our code, you can see that uh, that there are other things as well here and uh, let's now we have looked into how to remove it. Now let's look at a way to modify it uh, and then add something to it above or below so let's go back to our code snippet and then like we use remove action there's this function called add action which we use to modify the hook instead of removing it so now what we want to do is add a function here you can either add a function directly here or you can create a function somewhere else like down below or above and then mention the name of it in the uh, comments. I mean in the parenthesis. So uh, what you want to do is echo hello world as an example because the we are doing a tutorial and hello world is I mean yeah the god. Alright uh, let's update it and then as expected we will be able to see that here. Uh, below the product data tabs actually so let's refresh it now the as you can see now that we had removed the remove action and then instead use add action we can see our a code code which is basically hello world if you want to display it above it we will just need to um, decrease the priority level here basically use a lower value such as 5 though the recommended way the standard is to follow 10 or above but like let's just say 5 here uh, and update it now if you were to refresh our page we will see the hello world will be above this from data taps yep as a pixel so this is an example and uh, you can use this as a template to modify any wordpress plugin out there which has a good documentation or uh, you can find it uh, easily enough the hooks and the filters in it there's no other way to modify it like in the official ways any part of the code unless until it is being used uh, in a hook or a filter so i always recommend to modify a plugin which is which has uh, a hook or a filter for that scenario if don't i'd recommend to create a separate plugin and then you know if you really really want it you copy that code and then that's a completely different video which i can discuss in a later part of another video of course but yeah that's just another part of the story if you can't find a hook or a filter i would recommend not going in for a normal user so yeah that's about it for this video i hope i'll be seeing you in another one uh take care